What is the deal with double masking? We've been hearing that you should perhaps consider wearing two masks to protect yourself from the new variants of COVID-19. But then new reports came out over the weekend that says it does more harm than good. So what do you do? Well, we'll start by bringing in an expert to help us figure it all out. Dr. Christine Lay with Kelsey Sebo Clinic joins us live right now. Good morning to you and I'm glad you're joining us. So what do you say about double masking? Is it a good or bad idea? So this is very important. The CDC recommends a mask that has two layers, and we do understand that the more layers, there's more protection. The most important for people to understand, though, is it's a, we need to have a good fitting mask, something that fits very well over the nose and the mouth. All right, so let's talk about if you decide that you are going to do two masks, what are the benefits of doing that? Why would you want to consider it? Because people are like, one mask is already seems like too much. So how do you deal with two? Sure, sure. Um, so the most important, once again, is making sure um, that the masks are fitting well. So I'm going to sort of show you what happens mm -hmm. if we put two masks on. Oftentimes, we would recommend putting on a disposable mask first, and then also making sure that you pinch the nose and so it fits very well. And then here is a two layer uh, cotton mask that the CDC recommends. And it's very easy to go ahead and put it on top of the disposable mask. And so there's a better seal on my face and it definitely is covering my nose and covering my mouth. And so with the three layers, some experts think that it may have more protection than the two layers. I tell you what, you are definitely a professional because I've never heard or been able to understand someone pronunciate words better with two masks on than you. So kudos to you for that. Are there any downsides to wearing two masks? Uh, definitely can get hot, um, especially if people are exercising. I think it's um, probably better to find something that fits them well. Uh, with Houston weather, when it's getting very hot, I think it would be very difficult to wear so many masks when you're exercising. But definitely finding a mask that fits the face very well, fits the nose, and, and fits the, uh, the lower face is very important. All right, now let's talk about the new reports that came out that say they could do more harm than good. What is the thought behind that? And what is your opinion if you hear someone say that or question it? Um, once again, it's um, very important to find the mask that fits you. Uh, although we say that more layers is good, we would not recommend having someone wearing, wearing three different masks. That, that would be way too much. Uh, a, a person would have difficulty breathing if there were too many masks on. And so we, we run a fine line uh, with the person wearing a mask that fits very well and offers protection for themselves and others. But at the same time, we don't want to overdo it to the point where a person is not breathing very well. And as these new variants of COVID make their way into our communities, as much as we don't want it to happen, it's just a matter of time before I'm sure it becomes more prevalent. What do you say about one mask? Are we still safe if we just stick on that one mask and head out of the house? Yes, absolutely. The most important um, thing that people should understand is when we leave the house, much like wearing a seatbelt, it's important for the safety of you and others to wear a mask that fits your face very well and covers the nose and covers the mouth. And as long as you continually wearing the mask instead of you know bringing it below the nose, then you are going to be safe and also the people around you. All right, Dr. Christine Lee, thanks for your time today from Kelsey Siebel Clinic. As all this new, new information comes out, it can be really confusing. So it's great to have an expert on standby to be able to help us out. Have a good one. Thank you, Melissa.